Maybe that, that's what it's supposed to Walmart. Yeah. Oh, so. All right, so we're on day three of competitors, and we are now at the Rotterdam Drain train station, heading on to Antwerp, where we're now gonna drop off our bags at our hotel and get right on started with our first challenge of the day. <laughs> Quite a, uh, one of the middle zooms. It's only three stops. I think we're okay. Trying to figure out how to get to the hotel, but the info center. Oh, okay, info center entrance. Let's try to figure this out. We're we looking for the uh, just how to get to the hotel. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I need a map. That's what I need. Good morning everyone, welcome to Andrew. So I teamed up with Steve to put something together for you. We made it quite good, we made it very good. So you all, everything for me, will get an envelope. What will you find? What, what will you find in the envelope? That's a map. You already have one, but that's okay. A pen, because you need to write something down and a little booklet. Well, you can say it's a tourist booklet, but it's not. It's your local hunt. So, there were 30 questions in between. There are five questions on 30 points. Well, must do. They are written down, must do. Otherwise, there are 12, 20 points and 13, 10 points questions. Before you leave, after I give you the envelope, you put yourself aside somewhere, and you decide yourself, you have the five questions to do, and you have to make a choice of seven ten pointers and seven twenty pointers. You let us know which is the choice. It's 1017, To cross the river, you have to pay a toll to a fearsome giant named Antigone or risk losing your hand. But then, but then a the Roman soldier, Servius Bravo, came and made an end to this by slaying Antigone and tossing his hand. Okay, so, so um, now we gotta pick uh, seven t 20 point uh, questions and seven 10, 10 point questions. Yeah. What a 30. Oh, that's a must these are, do. These are the must do. So, okay. that's is a obsidian function hall on the mirror. Okay, we're gonna get busy. So, we just picked our uh, seven 10 point challenges and uh, seven 20 point uh, challenges for the, the scavenger hunt and now we're on a way to find find some stuff so we're roaming around we're roaming around antwerp i'm not even sure what to look for actually Like we're looking for a name? We're looking for a name or what? Or Ortilus? Ortilius? Ortili no, that's the closest one we have. That's not even a rover name. 
All right, so we're we're at our a little misstep on the map reading. Now we're just looking for a first spot. I believe this is Steen. Is that an anchor? That is an anchor. We gotta find where there was Freets, which should have been over there, and I maybe there's an anchor out there. Oh, it's is this is it this? Where is an anchor? Right here. Are there any plaques here? No, it doesn't look like it's just an anchor. But let's go, let's go make a video. I think we can go up. That is the giant. All right, so I think we got at least our first thing written down, which is the answer to 28. We're now in some sort of medieval castle that is called Steen, Het Steen. Um, and yeah, we now need to make a video to promote the city, the city of Antwerp and the left bank. Whew. We're done. We got our next one. Let's go. So we just actually went to a cafe to ask a local for some answers and uh, we're heading over to another spot. Uh, so we're gonna head down this way uh, and, and get more clues. <laughs> right so we're at the Stad Festival and it's asking us for the doors, what's decorated around the doors and it's definitely leaves here. So we're gonna write that down, move on to the next clue. Well, hello guys. I heard you already had a quite an enjoyable question and answer round in the, to our nice city of Antwerp. Yes. Yes. Um, I selected uh, three great beers for you. Three very special beer from uh, our Belgian assembly of which we have more than 2,000, almost 3,000 different beers in Belgium. Wow. So uh, making a selection of three is difficult, but they have a great card here, so for me it was good. Um, I'm going to let you taste three different beer styles, typically from Belgium. So not only Flanders, but the whole of Belgium. Um, the first one is being served as we speak. Um, and per beer, we are going to ask you to guess the alcohol percentage. It's not a, a meal, it's between 4 and 10. Okay. So, I will explain you a little bit about this beer because we have a little bit of limited time and I want to explain to you as much as I can of course. Uh, free thing uh, with currywurst and mayo. Yes, the plant my dad's is currywurst. Yum yum. So beer challenge complete. Uh, we just had some uh, fries and fries, mayo, ketchup, tartar, and, and uh, some currywurst. Uh, currywurst, which is like a sausage, deep fried. I loved it. It's pretty good, pretty good. So. We're walking through the square and we're going to continue with the second half of the day to finish off our scavenger hunt. Um, so here we go. Hey, uh, this is our last challenge of a day. I must say what a great way to end a, you know, a long day in, uh, in Antwerp. So cheers to that. Okay. Spade Diamond Hunter Clubs. You find it easy? 
hard. This one's hard. It was we more we stood there for a few minutes yeah, trying to look. More of an abstract. Yeah. You got your 10 points. Yes. So we're now walking through the lovely and charming little town of Antwerp, um, where we came to after our, uh, our two days in Rotterdam. Um, and so things kicked off today with yeah. our third and supposedly final scavenger hunt. So uh, obviously, after two days of straight scavenger hunting, uh, it's taken a little toll on us, <laughs> but overall it's a great day. Uh, we've got to, well, it was a great way to smell and taste the city, you know, have an idea of what the culture is like. And you know what, I learned a lot. I mean, coming here, I had no clue what Antwerp is about, but after today, at least I have an idea of, okay, their history has a lot of art, uh, the, uh, art deco. Uh, influences also obviously you can see uh, a lot of uh, cathedral uh, church uh, era and so it's a very um, European feel compared to where we just you know yeah considering Rotterdam was such a modern city it was nice and refreshing to be in a very European kind of traditional city um, and so there was, there was a lot to learn uh, this challenge was different because it was just Sam and I we weren't partnered up with any team so this is actually the first time this happened um, and yeah, I thought we did really well. I thought we did really well. We got most of the clues. There was obviously a lot of running, a lot of scrambling, a lot of sweating, uh, but we got the job done and we'll see what the results are. I know they were doing the tallying earlier today. Uh, we haven't received the results yet, but we will definitely update you once we find out uh, how we've been doing so far and kind of the, the updated standings. Um, uh, so let's move on to a bit more exciting news. Actually, we've, we've withheld a bit more information on you, um, but well, why don't you break the news? So we just found out that tomorrow we're going back to Brussels but not only that, we're doing something related to chocolate. So I'm not I mean, going to reveal too much. Coming, coming. Just but it's coming up. It's Brussels and chocolates. <laughs> and not only that, part two of the surprise is that on that same day tomorrow, we are then flying to Sorrento, Italy. Italy. It, it blew my mind. Yes. Oh my goodness. So Italy. We're, we're going to the, the southern part of Italy to the Amalfi Coast, which I've been wanting to do forever. So this is... Uh, just I, it blows my mind it blows my mind that competitors is gonna make this happen anything goes now you know yeah it, it can only go we, up. we spent all this time in Belgium and Netherlands and now we're flying all the way to Italy so we're really excited for that um, yeah so that's pretty much what we what we yeah. wanted to update you guys with so definitely stick around for the next episode um, yeah and keep watching on going awesome places Again, I normally don't do reviews of hotel rooms, but we're at the Hotel O here in, in, uh, in uh, Antwerp. That's where we are, of course. We're in Antwerp, I've, I've lost track. But here's a look at the room that we have. Um, I think the most interesting part is that we are sharing a room with a fully glass shower and bath. So that's going to be interesting. Um, the room is, is not bad, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty big for what it is in Europe. And uh, the only thing is, the catch is that there is no AC. It's still incredibly hot. We have the windows open. Uh, the views here are great though, because we are literally right by the cathedral, as you can see. Um, the street is right down below. And uh, this is where we are. We are in the heart of Antwerp. Pretty awesome, but hopefully the uh, temperature cools down drastically overnight so we'll actually be able to sleep and not melt uh, but uh, yeah this is Hotel O